everybody. Welcome to another edition of XGR. XGR and... <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. So, uh, joining me today is, of course, Geeky Girl. Hey. And Chris, a.k.a. The Mole. Hello. So, I uh, figured we'll, uh, we will kick it off, as we always do, with news. Okay. So, who would like to go first? Mm, I'll go first. Okay. Okay, first, my big news this week, to see what you guys think. Mario Kart has been confirmed as coming out this year. On what? P- on Wii U. Yay! In a, P- in a PR <laughs> email pertaining to its 2013 financial re- re- results, Nintendo Let Slipper game will be rolled out. It, the email says, and I quote, Based on the strong lineup of upcoming software titles for both Nintendo 3DS and Wii U system, Nintendo expects the return to operate in income profitability by the end of the current physical year. During the next several months, Nintendo expects to launch new titles in the Mario Kart Wii U, Super Mario Bros. Wii U, Wii Fit Wii U, Pikmin Wii U, The Legend of Zelda Wii U, and Nintendo 3DS, Mario & Luigi 3DS, and Pokemon 3DS franchises. These games, along with titles from Nintendo's third-party publishing partners, will help drive hardware momentum and induce new audience to the Wii U and 3DS platforms. Yay! Which partly wonders, I got this from a site called NintendoLife.com. Feel free to check <laughs> that out, listeners. Partly wonders... Why this news was listed as Mario Kart coming, and I a link to that, when wouldn't the logical, more popular one be Smash Brothers is coming, or <laughs> New Legend of Zelda is coming? Yes, that's Although the part, part I heard. Think, part of me thinks the New Legend of Zelda will be the Wind Waker HD and the one that's already announced, which we knew were coming out this year anyway. So, But yes, yeah, Smash Brothers and Mario Kart, did not know they were coming out this year, knew they were being revealed at E3. How do you guys feel? I'm still stuck on New Zeldas and, you know, all the other Brass Smash Brothers and, like, <laughs> that's going to be awesome. I am looking forward to Smash Brothers. I hope I hope they bring back third-party characters. Yeah. And this time I hope they have more influence on the story. Like, I was not amused last time. But, okay, after years of fans asking, we finally got Sonic in there. So it could be Sonic v. Mario, the showdown. Playing through, it's like, yeah, this is going to be an epic showdown. Sonic shows up, it's like, hi, Mario, I'm going to help you. And then he helps him for, like, two seconds and leaves. I'm like, no! No! (laughs) 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 Nintendo trolls you. uh, Yep. (laughs) Moving on, second bit of news. Batman Origins... Oh, sorry, Batman... Arkham Origins will have multiplayer, according to, and I hope I'm saying this correctly, Kotaku Sources. Uh, sources, I'm using air quotes for this, just because it is a rumor at this point. During at least one section of multi, during at least one section of multiplayer, you play as a member of Joker or Bane's gang while trying to take down Batman and Robin. The villains involve uh, involved who may be playable and customized include Killer Croc, Deadshot, Firefly, Black Mask, Deathstroke and some sort of Electro Man character. <laughs> now part of me when I'm reading this I'm like, it's all okay, that sounds kinda cool. Cool mode. Some kind of Electro Man character. Yeah, sounds legit. Oh, I thought that was just you saying stuff, because I know that that happens to be a way that sometimes you name things, but that's what it literally says. No, no, that, that was literally, it literally says, Killer Croc, Deadstroke, Firefly, Black Mask, Deathstroke, and, in quote marks too, some kind of Electro Man character. You said Deathstroke twice. Did it say Deathstroke Sorry, twice? Sorry, uh, one of them was Deadshot, I made him Okay. Oh. oh, okay. It'd be hilarious if it listed Deathstroke twice. <laughs> no, he's so amazing in there, he gets it twice. We have him and the Teen Titans watered-down version of Slade. Yes. <laughs> hey, yep. But that was the second bit of news. I mean, don't don't know how you guys feel about the multiplayer <coughs> being added, if it's true. Well, if it's good, like, I, that'd be awesome. I mean, I don't have it, but, like, eventually I will. And how about you, Rictor? 
if they make it something that seems worthwhile or good, then yeah. Otherwise, it just seems like they're following the trend of like, let's just throw multiplayer in there and hope. Yeah, let's throw m- m- online multiplayer in there so we can get an online pass out of this. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, fuck that shit. I hate paying for that. To hope people won't trade it in after a week. <laughs> yep. And my last bit of news. Pay attention, bro gamers. Call of Duty news. Ready for you bros out there. The UK's Daily Mail newspaper has reported a rather interesting story. According to, that, according to them, the head of PR representative from Activision and publisher behind Tour de Force Call of Duty franchise and one of her colleagues have stolen money from Activision. <laughs> According to the story, PR executive Catherine Curtin, and I hope I'm saying that correctly, shipped off 18963000 to pay for her engagement party, her hen party, and designer shopping sprees. $18,983 amounts to just over $29,000 for you Americans. <laughs> well, look at this. A PR, a PR consultant named Jamie Kay also stood accused of stealing money. Ultimately, both Curtin and, K- and Kay pleaded guilty to the charges, and Kay himself was responsible for another £5,000 stolen, or about $7,600 for you Americans. They've both been given suspended sentences, so neither will be given actual prison time. Both Curtin and Kay pleaded guilty to one account of fraud, according to the Daily Mail. Activision themselves have not commented on this yet, but and also in Call of Duty news, apparently the next title is going to be called Call of Duty Ghosts, according to the leaked box art from Tesco over here and I think Best Buy in America. But yeah, what, what do you guys feel about that? Nah, I think nah. that they, uh, Bobby Kotick probably personally contacted him and he's like you guys really got us we need to figure out how we can do that to everyone else that's what i think yeah uh, you know the part that sickens me the most about this what, what? i can't believe i'm going to read these off again hang on why was it two cases of this Eighteen thousand and nine hundred and sixty-three twice apparently oh if i just be once and they listed it twice that seems more logical than the stealing for the exact <laughs> one again. 5,000 as well. So that's over 20 grand over here and over 30 grand over there stolen mm-hmm. from their PR thing. And yet, those games were the most successful sold games without that <laughs> PR. Oh my god, that's kind of mind blowing to think about. Congratulations, bro gamers. Even without that money, your game still sells. <laughs> I just insulted people by calling them bro gamers, but still. I'm done, so now we can move on to one of you two. I see, the only bros I like are bro knees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'll go next. Okay, the first news I got is straight from Nintendo.com. Is Iwata sets up as CEO for Nintendo America. So, hopefully, I'm hoping that, like, American, um, like, advertising and, like, Nintendo America here is not, like, other than Nintendo World, it hasn't really had any kind of effects at all. It hasn't spiced everything up. And if you always look at Japan, their adverts and stuff, or any of their promotions they have, they're nothing compared to the, um, promotions and ads they have in America. So hopefully he can just spice it up, at least in the advertising section, or maybe even, like, in the game section, and get some more stuff released, or I don't know. It's I'm just hoping he can make some real changes and at least try to equalize Japan and America in the sense of games, at least a tiny, teeny, tiny bit. <laughs> I, I, I could agree with that. I think he'll make a good CEO. Yeah. I have been enjoying the Nintendo Direct stuff. I thought that was a stroke of genius in marketing to do that in the first place. However, at the same time, I'm really glad, then about you two, that Reggie is still going to be CEO, CEO or C- <laughs> whatever it is, so he's still going to be one of them. Only because, I'm sorry, when I watch the, like, EA, well, it's not EA, the E3 mm-hmm. presentations, I love Reggie. I fucking love him as a PR executive on the stage. <laughs> he is like, great. Yeah. Most years, there's Sony, look at us, we've got power, we're manly. There's Xbox, we've got power, we're manly. There's Reggie. Hi, kids. 
I'm your Uncle Reggie. Would you like to <laughs> possibly try some of my stuff? You may enjoy it. And I'm like, yes. And he'll smile and say, oh, I feel like a purple. Like the last presentation, oh, I feel like a purple Pikmin from one of those people. Like that's an expression. <laughs> and it, 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 one of, it's one of those that are just so friendly. You just you want to reach for your screen and hug Reggie, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned the purple Pikmin, because that's actually my second bit of news. <laughs> you feel like a purple Pikmin. Well, yes, but that's different. <laughs> that's that's for other reasons that are not related to games. But um, but see, um, the thing I was worrying about the most about the pigment three that's coming out is that the rock pigment had replaced the fat pigment because they hadn't been shown. But then they released more artwork officially. And they officially said the purple and white pigment are coming back. They're not being replaced. Thank God, because they're my favorite. They're not the white ones. They're freaky. But the purple pigments, the fat ones, are like my favorite ones. And they're coming back officially. And they're not being placed by the rock ones. Which I think that in the original plan, that was the idea to replace them. But I think because the fan outcry, they're going to keep them in there. And it won't be too much programming since they already pretty much act like the other ones. (laughs) Yep. I have to ask a question, which I, I know Geeky Girl will not get this, but Richter, do you think no. the rock Pikmin will show up via satellite? <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't un- Is that a wrestling kind of thing? Yes, yeah. the, the, the rock and the wrestling was the thing of him showing up via satellite because he, he used to record his shit separately and just appear on the screen in the stadium. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that, so. was re- that was a reference, uh, wrestling reference. Okay, that's yeah, over my head. <laughs> so, anyway, the last bit of news I have is that the game Deadly Premonition is coming to PS3 on via digital and, um, like, on CD. And it's this is straight from PlayStation.com, so it's, like, totally legit. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's, it's and in- if is it, more, is it more legit than some kind of Electro-Man character? A little. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> but if you don't know, um, um, tw- uh, if you don't know uh, Deadly Premonition, it's pretty much if they decided to make Twin Peaks the show into a game, and it was released, I think, on PlayStation One or something, like maybe PlayStation no, Two. A, PlayStation it's a Two. Is it 360? Because I knew it was yeah, on it was my friend's play PS Two. Okay. All right. Then um. Anyway, it's really old, like, shitty-ass graphics and stuff, but, like, is that on 360, really? That's pathetic for the 360. Anyway. Yeah, it it was, like, <laughs> low end, yeah. yeah. Well, I remember s- watching a video where they showed, like, part of the intro of it, and they were making fun of it, and there's, like, squirrels, and they have a monkey noise for some reason. They and do the have like, a monkey noise. Why does noise? that squirrel make sound like a monkey? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, like, it's, like, besides the graphics, which I'm sure will be, like, updated for this. But, I'm going to um, suggest that I haven't seen anything about this. I'm going to say the graphics are probably still better than that Men in Black game I mentioned last next year. Uh, probably. I, but the so. point is, it's a freaking amazing, like, mindfuck <clears throat> game. And it's, like, literally crazy. It's it's just insane. Like, all these freaking, like... I remember, like, the pause screen is the deer on the head. Like, the deer that's mounted on the wall starts coming alive and starts banging his head. And, like, blood's oozing in the background. And then you got little twins from freaking Shining in it. And you got these cards. And then, like, to the only way to waste time into the game so you can get a time period where you can, like, do a quest or something is by smoking cigarettes. <laughs> That's how you, like, change the time periods in the game is by smoking. So, and you'd, like, get high off your ass and be like, oh, my God, it's blah, blah, blah o'clock. And then you go off and do whatever you want to do. And Is a time period what is produced from the upcoming Lady Doctor? What? I'm sorry, I, I don't get... <laughs> According to Kage, Doctor Who's getting a new female doctor, possibly, for one of the new ones coming up. I was making a joke because time period. Women have periods. Time oh, travel. Oh, okay. Ha 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 ha. I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it'd be so amazing to play this game. I'm definitely gonna buy it when it comes out. Deadly Premonition. Like I said, it's it's like it's Twin Peaks. If they decided to make it into a game, because at first they denied it, but then they said, "Oh yeah, we kind of based the entire game around Twin Peaks," <laughs> which is a TV show on it's on Netflix. So watch that. It's awesome. So that's that's my news. Yep. Richter? All right. Uh, so for my first bit of news, uh, one of the, uh, probably the, well, I don't know, it's, it's, it's fairly big. 
uh, I would say, is that Microsoft says on May 21st they will officially reveal the Project Durango slash the Xbox 720 slash Next Box, whichever you want to call it. <clears throat> I like and, that. Um, I want them to call it the Next Box now. I know. That's the one I want them to use. Yeah. I do look, I I do look, for, I do look for title Next Box. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Straight to the so point. So I'm, I'm hoping that they actually show the system. <laughs> Because I know Sony didn't, because they're not even, they're like, we don't know what it looks like. But I imagine that the whole, it'll probably be just like the other reveals that it'll be like two or three hours, and at the end you're just like, wait a minute, and you get like no information on it. I'm, I'm going to uh, say, hmm? as much as I like the PS, as much as I like Sony, I'm going to, sh- Microsoft will have to go out their way to make it worse than the PS4 <laughs> reveal. Because that I was know. literally two hours or three hours of stuff. Some of it I found, okay, I, I want to get this. But then they, they introduced you with, like, weird little pedophile-looking men, and you're like, oh, yes, buy our stuff. Or, or, really, like, yeah, or, really, <laughs> or people that have been, like, lobotomized to have no personality, which both of those just made me go, this is boring as shit. You've made me lose interest. That's like, in your, <laughs> they got anti-Reggie. Yeah. Like a, a guy with no personality whatsoever that you look at him and you're like, I don't like this but guy. But literally, all the information they listed in the PS4 <laughs> announcement could have been summarized in, like, one tweet in 120 yeah. characters. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like the stuff they showed off would have been awesome if they'd cut down on the time a bit and got people with personality to do it. Instead yeah. of, like, it, I mean, I literally sat there like, oh, my God. Okay, I'm thinking something good coming, but, oh, God. Hi, welcome to the PlayStation 4. Here's what we've got, but we're not going to show you it, but I'm going to talk about it using confusing metaphors. <laughs> and there's no hype whatsoever on that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I hope it's... I imagine it'll be... That's kind of what I'm basing it on, is I think it'll be as bad as that, so they they actually could surprise me. But, I'm, uh, I'm couple, hoping they learned at least and be like, okay, this is what we I, don't I, I do. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a meeting and they show it to everyone and they're like, okay, we don't do that. Yes. Work from there. <laughs> <laughs> that made me happy. And uh, a couple of the games that are rumored to be on it, ones that I think uh, actually have some basis for them, are, uh, there's a new Thief game coming out. And that one was, I believe they said it was going to be on PS4 and, quote, next-gen systems, so I'm pretty sure that'll be there. Same with The Witcher 3. And apparently Rainbow Six Patriots, they pushed that back a bit, and one of the Ubisoft guys said that there's a good chance it'll be on that. And I'm fairly certain that, the, as Chris mentioned, the new Call of Duty will be on there. That would be silly if it wasn't. Yep, of course it will. <laughs> and I'll imagine Battlefield 4. Yeah, oh, yes, true, that one, too. Yeah, there's a lot that will, you know, like, obviously, New Halo will probably be there, but since they haven't, those fact. aren't even announced, I don't know. But New I Halo hate. is that game called Believe or whatever, or something. Oh, Destiny? Or? Yeah, that thing. Yeah, That's the Bungie one, yeah, that'll probably, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I will say, I hate the fact, at least in my mind, they're not learning from mistakes of the past. Mm-hmm. I don't mean with the rumoured online-only DRM and shit we've discussed that to death by now. I mean, most of the games that they've listed are all shooters. And I'm like, no, this is your chance to take Xbox and stop people thinking it was the bro gamer machine. And do like PlayStation to their credit this gen, branched out and gave us like a new racing series, new platformer series, new Tomb Raider series in Uncharted. And it's like, you kind of, I kind of hoped Xbox would do something similar. Hopefully they will join their reveal, though, because we never know. They may have yeah. shitloads of secret shit on the back burner. No, well, Xbox even... only for hit-hit yeah. games. Shoot-shoot games. Only I think sure if games. anyone has anything crazy, I, fi- I figure Lionhead might. Because even yeah. though, you know, I didn't like the Fable games, they showed the, um... Oh, what was that? They had that tech demo for for Kinect before it was, before it was called Kinect, and... That looked, yeah, I remember people were like, oh my god, that looks so amazing. And they're like, this isn't a game. So, <laughs> uh, I imagine they they have some possibility of having something crazy. I will um, just mention that since, um, since you said, um, talked about like showing game footage, there's this mm-hmm. game that no one's ever heard of that's um, called um, Octodad, right? Uh-huh. Never heard of it? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So basically, game, yeah. you actually, okay. Uh, but what they did with their game is so amazing. I wish every company would do it. Is they purposely showed every single, all the worst glitches possible that were in their game in like the beta test and stuff. And they pretty much showcased <laughs> it. Like in the weirdest shit that could possibly happen. And nice. like, they said, yes, we know about these glitches. They are not going to happen. Cause look here, if we, we're doing them right now. We know that they exist. And we acknowledge them and like stuff like that. And that's exactly what they did. And that was amazing. Because not only was it freaking hilarious to see the game like acted the way it shouldn't, eh? and then it says yes, we know it, and this one actually happened in the gameplay. Which I think, imagine if like Call of Duty or freaking like every other game showed you all the terrible glitches that they're trying to hide, and says yes, we acknowledge these. These won't happen. Like I think it would I, save. I wish they would. Yeah. <laughs> it would save them yeah. a lot. It would save yeah. game developers a lot of flack by just covering their butts like that. Well, there's there's shit that no one ever sees outside of QA that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, that's all I can probably say. But <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, any more on the 720 or no? I'll, um, okay, I'll move on to I my next. I want to see it. Uh, I want to see it with yeah. my eyes. Yeah, I, wanna, I, I kind of want to see what the wall of features are going to bring. Yeah. <clears throat> so my next bit of news, uh, according to one of my friends, I have no idea if this is legit, but it's funny as hell, and it ties into last week. Uh, supposedly, the PAX people are cracking down on scalpers, <laughs> and uh, so if if they find you know that you were scalping tickets, wherever they apparently are just canceling your order. And my friend said that one guy had like three hundred tickets, uh, and I was. <laughs> And we we just laughed, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm glad that they canceled that guy's shit, and that they'll open up those tickets for later because that's ridiculous." Does this mean if they do that, you could actually get the tickets you wanted? I might be able to. Yeah. Woohoo! <coughs> I Good won't news to stay at home, yeah. Dad Gamer. Yay! Not <laughs> yeah, <I call>, like <laughs> ass end of it on Monday. <laughs> um. So yeah, let, let's hope. Um. Gee, I don't know. Every the. Yeah, I talked about it probably too much last week, but I'm hoping that they have some kind of organized way to open it up. Uh, other than that, I'd say my last bit of news in those uh, in the super jealousy department, there was a person who bought a copy of the Nintendo NES title Stadium Events at Goodwill for seven ninety nine. <laughs> if you know certain things about rare games, this yep. game. Complete, which I believe they purchased it complete, sells for upwards of thirteen thousand dollars. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that person lucked the fuck out, and I really wish I would find that game at Goodwill. Yay! <laughs> I thought I was lucky when I found the ninety-nine cent Naruto cosplay for fat guys, so I charged them like a hundred bucks to um buy it online. <laughs> <laughs> Best of the yeah. books I ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I want a picture of that. Anyway. <laughs> what, of Maluto? Yes. You just look so sad. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> and you're holding up a sign that says it was better when it was Dragon Ball Z or something. Yeah. Wait, what about, what about Mole? Sexy Jutsu? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be Simon? Anyway. <laughs> I'm just imagining Mole doing his sexy face. <laughs> like the shushing kind of motion. And, oh, it'd be, it'd be great. Yep. <laughs> okay. Alright, so next up, we are going to discuss the games we played this week. I'll start. Alright. Alright. So, lately, I've been playing... I've been still playing... Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda 3D and 2DS. And it's really sad. It's so sad that the best game on the 3DS is a remake. <laughs> it's so sad. But yeah, it's still like friggin' amazing and Master Quest is friggin' insane. Like, and it's not like the Master Quest that was originally on the GameCube, I think. Um, it's not just like hard as in like half your health is like taken off and like uh, the controls, not the controls, but the environment is reversed like a mirror. Right. But, um, sorry, what? I don't know if I was just going to say, as I've mentioned before, every time you say that, Super Mario Land 3D was not a remake. This is true. <laughs> that is the best 3DS game. 
You are correct. It is a very <laughs> good one. Anyway. The best. But see, like, Master Quest, unlike The Legend of Zelda 3DS, gets even, like, weirder. I don't know if this was part of the GameCube version or if it's sort of part of this one. But, like, it gets so weird that, like, when I was doing the Jabu, um, Jabu, Jabu, like, fish, like, for, um, the water, not the water temple, but to get the water spiritual stone, there, um, instead of pressing the buttons to, um, open doors, what you have to do is you have to play the ocarina, to make the cow moo, and that has how that is how you open doors. I have to ask <laughs> to any of you fans out there who have listened to any of the other X Pound stuff: Is Jabu Jabu James Phoenix's Indian name? Ha! <laughs> That'd be amazing. We should start calling him that now. We should. Let's start referring to him as Jabu Jabu. You see, the temples and they just get even weirder. Like. Like, I'm playing songs for the cows to open doors, and there's literally, like, half a cow fused in with the whale of Jabu Jabu. And there's just <laughs> random ca- whale heads along the doors. And I was like, I had to look this up, because I'm like, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, I tried, like, I tried hitting it, like, you like if it was a cow button or something. But no, you play the freaking cow song, and that opens up the doors, because, you know, cows fused with whales is totally normal, and, you know, stuff. The rest of them isn't there, but... It's the cow song. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. No, that's the Pona song. But, like, it was just, like, and it goes further on. It gets weirder and weirder. Like, all the temples are, I don't know if it's completely redone or, but it's just weird as all hell. It's just weird. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been doing that and messing my brain. I have to keep looking it up. I feel terrible. Because I didn't have to look up anything for the original. <sighs> what else have I been playing? <sighs> I've been playing more of Okami HD, too. That's always fun, you know, nice, fun oh. remake. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to the new Okami news, whatever. Um, was it Capcom has it coming out, right? Capcom has new yeah. Okami news coming yeah. out, so I'm looking forward to that, too. I honestly thought you were going to mention that during the news segment. I forgot about <laughs> it. <laughs> That's how much she's excited for it. <laughs> I just forgot because I'm Dory. I have a five-second memory. <laughs> you do. And I will also point out and say, I'm sorry, Richter. I noticed oh. every time after I mentioned what Jabu Jabu was, you kept uh-huh. giggling at the name Jabu Jabu. <laughs> yeah. Jabu Jabu. <laughs> I've officially ruined it for you forever. <laughs> All right, well, that's what I've been playing. So how about Mole Richter? Uh, I can go. Um... Uh, first up, a uh, game I was playing is Dragon Fantasy Book 1 from the PlayStation Store. Uh, it's a cross-buy title, so you can also play it on the Vita if you happen to have one. And uh, it's a very... I will actually, a uh, quick note, have a review of this on my site uh, soon. But also, it's a, it's a very retro RPG, a lot like Final Fantasy or Dragon Warrior back on the Nintendo. And so far, it's pretty cool. The only problem I had was it seemed to freeze up a lot. Like, I actually had it freeze on me twice, and it crashed to the cross-media bar once. And they had they did release a patch a couple days later, and I haven't had that issue yet, so I'm hoping they fixed it. But that was it was pretty rough that, those first two days, i got to say. Um, the other big title I was playing this week was God of War Ascension. Oh, I want and, Oh, I won't. Yeah, you, you can buy my copy because I didn't like it. Oh, <laughs> but, um, how much? <clears throat> <laughs> do, do you still have your online pass? Yeah, I didn't use it. Hey! Because <clears throat> I didn't want to play the multiplayer. But I don't... Oh, I just... I don't know. I didn't really like it. I mean, honestly, the God of War games, I think they're they're okay. They're You know, they kind of fluctuate, but I've never had one where I just absolutely loved it. But this one, I think, is easily the worst. <laughs> and one of the <laughs> one of the things I hated the most about it was, <clears throat> excuse me, you f- I feel really weak. Like enemies just take a lot of hits, and you're sitting there, and you're like, "Will you please die?" And they're just like, "No, I'm good." And I mean, you're playing him before he technically has the god powers and stuff, so maybe it's intentional. But I mean, I have it on normal, and it, it feels like it takes forever to kill some of these guys. I can't even imagine if you had it on like Titan or whatever. It'd be like a ten-hour game just just from fighting alone. But yeah, it's uh, there were a couple other 
things I didn't like about it. But overall, I, I mean, the story was actually pretty decent, and it has, uh, although it it has it's basically through two uh, two separate events, but it kind of jumps in, back and forth between them. And once I realized that, I kind of could piece it together. But it's it's kind of odd in the beginning, just because it does that. Uh, but the story is actually not too bad, and I even though the environments and the you know the contraptions and puzzles and whatever are they don't it, it's always kind of crazy in god of war games because they always have like this this kind of like science and machinery that would never ever exist back then but those are still amazing there's like this giant statue that has like a lantern and other crazy cool shit but the gameplay just wasn't that fun for me i heard they were actually based on historical accuracies <laughs> <laughs> A giant chain and a winch and magic crystals <laughs> and bugs that come out of people's chests. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they rode giant enemy crabs. <laughs> they did. Read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I would if it had that in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for me this week. <laughs> uh, I I've played free this week. Yeah, the first one I'll mention quickly because I've got a review of this coming out. Injustice, Gods Among Us. I like this game. I've heard some people complain about different stuff within the game. The only thing I complain about is the clash system. Besides that, I like the game. I, thought, I think it's pretty good. They've given you something that's a challenge, so you shouldn't really be complaining too much because you've actually got a challenge. It doesn't do it for you. It, overall, Injustice... It's an excuse to see Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and Green Lantern and Flash and stuff to beat each other to death. I like it. It's fun. Next game on my list I've been playing was Duke's X Human Revolution. I may be pronouncing that wrong. Deus Ex. Um... Yeah. Mm. Not that fussed on that. I'm going to be honest, not that fussed on that. It's not for me. I don't like the fact, apparently the tutorial lied to me, and I'm like, great, the game's lying to me from the get-go. <laughs> because I, I was talking to Marcus Shadow from the x and as I'm playing through it, there's a part where the tutorial says, okay, now you need to duck behind this and pull out and start shooting people. And I'm like, okay, cool. I start doing that and keep dying every time, and according to Marcus, no, what you're supposed to do is duck down and just walk past them. Yeah. Ah! Does or, that actually work? <coughs> yes, about, yeah. yes, it works, and apparently there's a trophy for that. I was like, uh, now I know there's a trophy for it, I must do everything in my power not to get it, I hate trophies and achievements. Mm. So I jumped up and waited until they, wait they turned around and shot me behind and stuff, but uh, I don't know, the game to me, it's just, uh, it's, not, it's not my type of game. I think the, the trophy that he's referring to is, um, there's one for... Like when you do a mission and the entire game without killing anyone and or raising an alarm. So as long as someone notices you during every mission, you'll be fine and you won't get that one. That's that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not purposely going to try and get it. I was like, okay, I know how to yeah. get it with this. I'm not going to go out my way to get it. I, I'm not that sad. But <laughs> uh, the last one I've been playing this week, I got to play today, Wednesday, when we record this. Thomas is alone. Basically, you play as a block, like a Tetris block, because apparently he's alive inside this program. He's come alive, he's walking around, you can jump and stuff. And as you're doing it, you're doing like Mario, like a platforming style jump up and puzzle and try and get through the thing. As you're doing it, the narrator is constantly talking about how bitterly depressed and alone <laughs> this little block is. And then he finds a friend, a little fat one called Chris, insert more joke. And he finds, a little, he finds like a little short, fat block called Chris. And he's like, yay, I'm no longer alone. And the narrator says, Chris does not like Thomas with his skinniness and his ability to jump higher than everyone else. Who does he think he is, thinking he's so much better than us? <laughs> and then later on, they find a dead, tall, long one called John. And John also doesn't like him because he's shorter than him and can jump a little differently. And I'm like, wait, why why do these square blocks have personality? (laughs) (laughs) And why are they all filled with hate? (laughs) (laughs) They're filled with such bitterness and such hate. This game is so wonderful. It's like, it's like, it's like crack. It's like I'm playing it and I'm like, 
this is the greatest thing ever hearing about and some of the time while they're doing this and they're going through portals as they're going through the portals as, as the yellow one goes through the portal the narrator says this little orange block hopes this portal separates these two so <laughs> Thomas would always be alone forever and Chris would get some peace and quiet <laughs> and I'm like oh my god Thomas is alone. It just came out today on PlayStation Plus over here for free. So I downloaded oh. it, and I'm like, oh, okay. and I'm like, okay, cool, I'm playing it. And it should be cheap enough to buy. It's like $5. Is it only American like that normally? It should yeah, be it, American yeah, it, stuff. it just released yesterday. I don't remember the price. Oh, I gotta yeah. try that now. And I'm like, this game, it's so wonderful with its hate and bitterness. <laughs> and it's like, it wants to just mock. It's like, Thomas, he's alone. Oh, he finds a friend. His friend hates him and wants him to be alone forever. <laughs> it's so wonderfully bitter. It's like how I feel with, like, Injustice of Superman. It's like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, the shit hit the fan with you. <laughs> yep. But uh, well, that was the end of my... That was the end of the three I played this week. Yay! <laughs> I want to. I want to see that game just for the, just for all the narrator. He sounds awesome. <laughs> sounds like the cave, except eviler. <laughs> <laughs> so, last up for this episode of XGR, we have our uh, opinion segment, and this uh, this week's is region locking. And, oh man, I, I hate region locking a lot. Simply for the fact of not everything is released in every region. And that's one reason I really liked the PSP, the DS, and the PS3. Just because, you know, they're not, I know that there's one region locked PS3 game. But anyway, I, I like that you have that ability. Because there's tons of games that you might be interested in that just don't come out here. And I, that's one thing I really hated about the 3DS, is that they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to put in region locking. And I'm like, F you guys. And I, I found it kind of funny because the, uh, you know, because, of course, with handhelds every and, well, every console, people try to hack it so they can put on, you know, burn games or whatever. And the, the first hack that they had for the 3DS, the guy was like, oh, I can actually remove the region locking. And I was like, just release that. That's perfect. That's, that's all I really want. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll hack it just to remove that. But, uh, oh, man, so I don't know, what do you guys, what are your thoughts on region locking? Uh, uh, personally, I don't mind region locking if it's something that, like you mentioned, is released everywhere. Because yeah. it's like, okay, UK people, buy your game in the UK, help your economy. Americans, buy your game in the American one, help your economy. Fair enough. However, yes, when stuff's not released everywhere, or some people have to wait over a year for some stuff and all that, it gets ridiculous. Uh, but the one I hate the most, like with Injustice, where I was playing... I really hate online region locking, too. Oh, yeah. I, I, I tried to play James and Marcus on Injustice. I was not... I was Jab not Jabu Jabu and yeah, Marcus? Jabu Jabu <laughs> and Marcus. I was not allowed to play those two on Injustice, because when I tried to play it, I sent them the invite. They get, please insert your Injustice disc. And like, but we got to insert it. <laughs> and then they... We found out later on it's because it's region locked on PS3 at least. Rumors say the 360 might be region lo free. We don't know because they may have because they have some better service due to Xbox Live, which is cool. Right. However, I'm like I don't care about oh there's going to be lag. I don't care about that. So MMOs, um, it just give us when you give us the option to play on service. Like yeah. okay, I can play with Marcus and James or Jabu Jabu if I host <laughs> the game. Uh, because essentially, where I you, whenever you play a game online, as a rule, if it's one-on-one -on -one matches, it normally goes by the host's internet connection. I've played them in games before, like on the wrestling stuff. I know I can support an internet connection with yeah. those two and have fun. It, it, complete, it, 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 it ruins it for me. It does when you can't play friends in different countries because they added on region locking. But you couldn't play <sighs> Defiance with me. I know. Oh, but really? How does how does boobs feel? What <laughs> is that? Just my name now, boobs. Because <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, the way you are, yours are as big as mine, but probably not as perky. They are. They are. <laughs> but I'm I'm fat guy. Richter's bald guy. Your boobs. Oh, thanks. That's not completely <laughs> <Wow>. objectifying <laughs> at all. <laughs> But like I said, like I don't mind region locking the online stuff that needs to stop. But like 
forever. Like, I wanted the freaking Animal Crossing 3DS, but they weren't even sure it was going to come out. And it was only out in Japan for, like, the longest freaking time. If that didn't come out in freaking... Oh, if that didn't come out in America, I would have bought the Japanese one and been like, fuck it. You know, just fuck it. I'll get it anyway. Like, and I will, yeah. like, translate it myself. Like, <laughs> or freaking, like, uh, find a way. Like, <laughs> and just to make a comment that everyone in this one will know, and hopefully long-term Xpound listeners from different videos will know this, but I wish games were like Simon, where you take one look at them and you instantly know they're coming out. <laughs> It's <laughs> wonderful. It's so beautiful, like a little flower. Is that our first X Town shirt? <laughs> <laughs> it should be. What? What? Sisexual? It's not region locked, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope he listens to this. <laughs> we love you, Sai. We do. <sighs> But, Big ups to Fab Dango. Yeah, he's gonna hate you for. <laughs> <laughs> he hates me anyway. Might as well have fun with it. <laughs> well, I can but, totally yeah. get what you're saying with region locked. If it was released everywhere and support your comedy, because I like being born in this, and but like buying stuff in the U.S. You know, one reason yeah. just right there. It's quicker shipping if I buy it online. Yeah. If it's in the U.S., just right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, also, it's a normal price because a lot of times when you buy an import copy they're like oh, it's 30 bucks more and then you're like what yeah, yeah or even better you can pick it up while you're in a shop yes <laughs> <You know? laughs> which uh, one thing that annoys me as well with some of the region locking stuff is there's a game coming out and I think it's on 3DS um, when I had my 3DS I wanted this game and then I realized it was region locked and stuff and I'm like, oh. but apparently there's one coming out on the PS3 which is region 3 yay of they, they keep doing jump games and in these jump games, you get stuff like Bleach crossing over with Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay, yeah. And I'm like, ah! And apparently the new one's coming out on PS3, and it's Bleach, it's Dragon Ball Z, it's Naruto, it's One Piece, all in like a Smash Brothers this style game. I'm like, okay, it's going to be Japanese, I'm going to have to use online to figure out what the fuck does what, because I don't speak Japanese. I'm going to I'm gonna buy that game, I'm going to import that game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy it. Does this game like, touch you in your special place? <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, the original ones of the jump games were on original DS, which is region free. So this this game is to me what Jabu Jabu is to you. <laughs> <laughs> you secretly like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, like, an anorexic person loves food. No, it's what <laughs> Jabu Jabu is to Geeky Girl in the... And, I, of course, I'm referring to James Phoenix in the... Okay, I'll let, I'll let it touch my boob if it gives me a quick buck. <laughs> <laughs> like, an anorexic person likes cake. <laughs> I think I may be anorexic, like I mentioned in the past, because, I'm sorry... When, when an anorexic person looks in the mirror, they see a fat person. That's what I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's got nothing to do with region locking. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> unless, unless in some countries I'm skinny because my fatness is region locked. That, you know, actually... <laughs> actually, yes, work. because apparently when I go to America, I'm counted as thin. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, well I would say you count. As, I would just say you, in America you count as normal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, region locking. I, like I said, I don't understand it. And some developers, I can't understand their process either. Of okay, look, here's a game, and it looks like people are going to want this game. They region lock it. They lose out on money, because, I'm sorry, people importing it still gives that developer money. Even if yeah. they don't have distribution rights across the world, so they can't actually distribute it to the UK and stuff themselves, there's no reason why I couldn't go on eBay and find someone that imported on their holidays and stuff and buy a copy off them or yeah. some crap like that. Yeah, well, someone still bought it in probably in the country that it was out, so they still actually got some money off of it. Exactly, and they get more money. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of times... Uh, people that buy import copies uh, either do it, you know, or, you know, they might do it because it's not going to come out here, but a lot of times, 
or I don't, you know, based off what they say, so they could be lying through their teeth. But when it comes out here, then they tend to buy it anyway because they want to play it in a language they understand. So right. most times people actually will buy it when it's released, if like if it's in both, if it's, you know. You want to know something stupid that's region locked? In the UK Animal Crossing, they get a bonus whenever they um, <laughs> reserve it. But, you know, do I get a bonus if I reserve mine? No, I get jack <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, like, like, like I've said to you, I will pre-order Animal Crossing. I will buy it, even though I don't have the 3DS anymore. I will turn on my camera for you, Geeky, and I'll let you watch me smash it and burn the pre-order receipt. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Something is seriously wrong with you. But I want you to be on webcam too, so I can watch your tears. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like that. I like he would use. He would throw away forty dollars just to make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's money well spent, right there. Well, that's more than forty dollars. That's like two hundred dollars. <laughs> it's money well spent. And that's oh, the, you'd get the actual 3DS, you're saying? Oh, yeah, okay. because it's the bundle. Oh, okay, I thought it was just the game. If you pre oh, the bundle. I got you. That's I thought it was just the game. That is watching the guy put a wow. Wii U in the microwave and then sell it for $4,000, calling it art. Oh, cool, look here, you geeky girl. I'm playing an Animal Crossing show you on webcam. Look, and here's a jug of water. Drop. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, listen to the sounds coming out of it. <laughs> It's almost like the Animal Crossing where people are screaming out in terror and are suddenly silenced. <laughs> to see things like this literally hurt my soul. <laughs> if you had one. <laughs> that's what, that's I picture he lights it on fire and then he just looks at it and he's like, I don't owe you anything, Tom Nook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I will admit, I do like Animal Crossing when it's on consoles. Is it terrible that you're not the first person today that told me I didn't have a soul? <laughs> no, it was also wow. your. Co- it was also your cobbler. <sighs> a shoemaker. Exactly. Think my soul. Oh, oh hey. I see what you did. <laughs> <laughs> see stuff like her laugh like that, and her Kristen Stewart face. This Shut is why up. I wanted to cry. <laughs> I want you to die. <laughs> Seeing it to is see it wrong that now I want to see? Oh, that, yeah, so it's wrong seeing it's gonna be XGR from her. And I go in the mud, and she's just gonna be choking me over in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Good prediction. I'll try to make it come true. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, come over and visit, and we'll see how thin you are when you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I'll come over and visit, and let's see how unraked you are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, he was talking to Jabu Jabu. <laughs> I was like, you forget that I have weapons. Okay, I may have to edit that one from the comments. I'm not sure at this point. <laughs> oh, man. That's it's so weird. terrible. It has nothing to do with region locking. I know, that seems like an amazing end point. It's <laughs> another it, amazing it, episode it has of something XGR. To do, it has something to do with region locking because you will have something from another region inserted into you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're done here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, right, I'll well. see you next week with less mental scars. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Me. Yep. Yeah, I'll be seeing you next week as well. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Bye. <laughs>